you'll see guys so cheering both fans, like both sets of teams. Like if a team scores, yay! If a team scores, yay! I'm thinking, pick your side, brother. Like or you can be neutral where you're you're not involved in the game. So like fan culture in America, like I start to see like it's very confusing. <laughs> Hey yo, my people, it's your boy Monty here, and welcome back to another episode of Vibe with Monty. And today, this is a crazy one. Yeah, me, international, we're going international, we're going over the Atlantic. Yeah, me, boys, introduce yourselves. Gage, you want to go first? Yeah, man. Uh, my name is Gage Sutton, and I am of our recording 007 and uh i'm from san antonio texas man yes sir. and you know who it is ethan hamilton the young rottweiler oh, 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 oh. <laughs> i'm glad to be here man international back-to-back -back weeks yeah listen remedy told me a lot about you guys he was like listen you, you need to hit these off and i was like for sure for sure it's happening it's happening 100 percent but hey, guys, yeah hold up Hey Monty, can I just say can I just say thank you for having us on, bro? We really Bad appreciate enough. you like reaching out to us. And this, this is our first like guest appearance. Like I feel I know, all man. nervous. Like, we feel the love, man. We feel the love. Uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. I thought to myself, like, we'll, we'll dive into it later. But I think to myself, you know what? Like, when I return to the state, I'm definitely gonna try and make my way to Texas. And bro, make sure bro, come, come on, come on, we gotta do it. Come on. Listen, I'm gonna be back. Yeah, we come summertime, so yeah, me. I'm, I'm sure I need to hit you guys up because I know a lot of people messaging me on the DM saying like, "When are you gonna do Vibe Monty International?" I was like, "Don't worry, man. When I go back to America, we can sort that out." And Prime, guest number the uno, number uno, that's you, man, for sure. Yep, yep. Come on, come on. But now, nah, listen, guys. For those that are watching, there's a few things I need to address before we start. Um, I wrote them all down in my notes. I remember all of them. Number one, the scheduling has been a bit off the last two weeks because of Ramadan. And obviously, I've been focusing on that a lot more. So, like, right now, you're watching this on Sunday. And yesterday, you would have had episodes from Kills. And obviously, last week, you would have had one episode. So I thought, you know what? Instead of tying it up and making separate episodes, I thought, let me give you one big episode today. Um, on top of that, the scheduling for next week as well would be a bit daisy because, obviously... Eid. I'm gonna get back into recording like in my proper flow in the next couple of weeks. I've got a big, big guest lineup for the month, so stay tuned for that. But another thing for the American viewers, I'm gonna address this right now. Throughout the whole video, I'm gonna call it football, not soccer, <laughs> not Yemi. If I'm saying Amer if I'm saying like NFL football, I'm saying American football. American football. American football. Yep, gotcha. American football, I don't want to say soccer. I hate soccer. That word, honestly, it hurts the <laughs> wrong way. Hey, it, hey, so in the hard. Remedy episode, we had to ask you, we had to make sure, like, bro, are you cool with us calling it soccer? <laughs> we were like, like well, yeah, listen, <laughs> you guys need to yeah, we get with the program, you need to call it football a bit more. Yeah, we know soccer, we can't have that. I got the thing you. is, I, I don't get why they call American football football, because they barely use their feet. So. Oh, I found out the reason. I thought, like, I got educated. I got educated on the reason. Oh, really? oh he, he got educated because we stood on the way. I basically apparently it's something to do with the actual size of the football. So apparently the ball is one foot long. Oh, okay. Me? And then they thought, oh, because the ball is one foot, we call it football rather than like, rugby is what we would call it here. In yeah. So it, it makes sense, know. but don't don't do that. Like the rest don't of the don't do that to. Yeah, don't do that to football. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but now, nah, um, obviously, you guys are first time guests, so. The way it goes, I don't know if you've done your research, but every time I have first time guests, I go through their Twitter. When I say Twitter, I <laughs> Ethan, you you're going down, bro. This is this <laughs> this is the episode. This is the gotcha episode. Oh I thought he was gonna do your tweets first. <laughs> I was like <laughs> yeah, he probably looked through my hey Monty, I'm assuming I'm, you looked oh, through both I'm, of our tweets. I'm, you got both of us? Both yeah, of us, yeah, okay. Yeah, Alright, Gage, if you going if I'm going down, you going down with me. <laughs> but I can't lie. I did see some questionable things. But I said, you know what? Let me I'll allow you guys. I'll allow you guys. All of, I think I think ninety nine percent of them, I think there's only like one or two tweets that weren't overrelated. 
the majority of them were football related. So obviously, because of today and the theme of the episode, I thought, let me stick it to football. But, lads, just check out your Twitter because when I searched up, keywords, I was like, wow, you man, someone, you don't want to get caught lacking. I, right? That means I gotta go back and look again. Oh, hey, Monty, you don't have to. You don't have to say what we said, but who was it? Oh, it was Ethan. Ethan. Is oh, <laughs> Gage, come on, man. We supposed to be brothers, man. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. But now, uh, um, you know what? Yeah, rock paper scissors. You see, goes fast. I'll see you goes fast. Let's see. Rock paper scissors right. on YouTube. On shoot, uh, hold on, hold on, on shoot? On shoot, on yeah, shoot, shoot. Alright, ready? Scissors, shoot. Ah, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, okay. Let's go! Uh, go you, you go first, you go first, you go first, you go first. Alright, no worries, no worries. So, let me just pull them up right here. Okay, <laughs> Mine is gonna be horrendous. <sighs> no, 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 no. I, like, there's a few of them. So, obviously, I want to ask you a question, and the question is: Out of Messi and Ronaldo, who do you prefer? Of Messi and Ronaldo, I've always been a Messi guy. Of course, come always. On. Your your Argentinian links, you can <laughs> let off that. But Gage, the reason I ask you is because you quoted Bleach Report one day and did a whole P E E point evidence explanation paragraph <laughs> on why you didn't like Ronaldo. I looked at it and I thought, hmm. And guys, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys to see as well. You said, and I quote. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, boy. I can't stand Ronaldo. He stop. He's, he's such a great player, probably the best ever in brackets. But it's so arrogant that he makes it, it makes it hard to like him. He needs to be humble and carry himself like the best player in the world. In your Damn. Identity. I think but, I... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, wait, 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 guess what? He's not done yet. He's not done I know, yet. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Until then, he's, he's going to continue being annoying, self-absorbed, and disliked. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, oh, Gage, what, I... what, what did Ronaldo do to you, bro? What did he do to you? How he hurt you like that? Let me tell you, man. So I think I remember tweeting that. Um, <laughs> it was a while back. Do you, do you, does it say what day I tweeted or like what year I tweeted that? Uh, I can I can get it up. I can get it up for sure. That's got to be uh, gauged from like 2019, 2018. Uh, this was in. No, I can't. I don't have the date. I'd have to go back on Twitter. But continue speaking. Yeah. Okay. So basically, basically, for me, there was a point in time where. I have always been a big Messi fan. Um, it's always been. I thought Messi has always been the goat and i just grew up not liking ronaldo and it could have been because of <laughs> you know my mom my mom watches used to watch the soccer games with me and uh she she kind of put that thought no in my soccer, head of like no soccer come oh, on oh, man. you're right you're right you're right you're right my bad my <laughs> let, that's let, your let, first let, strike let the american brand. yeah i know you're right you're right okay, so i used to watch football with my mom i used to watch football with my mom and uh you know she wasn't a big fan of ronaldo and she kind of passed it on to me of like you know we don't really like ronaldo because there was just something about the way that messi carried himself compared to the way ronaldo carried himself that really did the difference for me um and you know i've grown since that i've grown since that tweet um you know hey, prefer, I think preface to this gage doesn't like black athletes he only likes white athletes <laughs> <laughs> that is not true <laughs> I don't know why he tries to throw me under the bus like that, man. But, hey, hey, but neither of these players are black. black. Neither of these players are black. What are you talking about? It's our, Messi's black at heart. It's all right, man. And, I'm, and I picked Messi. So if Messi's black right, at heart, man. I still pick Messi. Uh, I, I regardless. The I have the full day. You said this uh, September 24th, 2018. 2018, so after, yep. That is after the World Cup. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, I really don't know what else to say. I, I think Ronaldo's redeemed himself a little bit in my eyes since then. Um, I, I think I kind of always grew up with that stigma that Ronaldo was just cocky, kind of thought a lot of himself. But 
since then, I think he's really done a lot to kind of redeem himself in his eye, uh, in my eyes. Um, I like the fact that he did that interview. He was sitting next to, or I guess it wasn't an interview, but uh, he was sitting next to Messi at one of the award ceremonies and uh, was just saying like uh, how awesome it is to be like that. Them two are part of football history, and yeah, yeah I mean, I, I got to give credit where credit's due. He's going to be one of the greatest to ever do it. I mean he's considered one of the greatest to ever do it and rightfully so he is extremely talented ah, first, first, first. Because i feel like you like messi about and like obviously messi is one of the greats like listen i'm not i'm not here yeah. to hate messi do messi fans <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a ronaldo guy but like I you're a ronaldo guy yeah but i can also appreciate football and messi for me like Ronaldo and Messi are there, they're, they're up there with them two. Yeah. However, <clears throat> you said something questionable before the World Cup started in 2018, um, <laughs> May specifically, and <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I don't know where this comes from. I would like to know like the the deep rooted cause for you liking this player. You said uh, on the 26th of May 2018, you said, Gareth Bale is my favorite player, and I'm disappointed you're not playing at the World Cup. Gareth Bale is your favorite. Like, elaborate. So, I, I, don't, I don't know really where my love for Gareth Bale started. Um, I, I think I just started watching uh, Real Madrid and the Barcelona games. And I just loved the way Gareth Bale played. And also I played a lot of FIFA at the time and his speed on that game was unbelievable. Um, so I don't know. I just kind of, I can I kind of came to like Gareth Bale. Um, I even liked him at Tottenham for a little while. I, I think, uh, I know Tottenham was not great, but he, uh, I like Gareth Bale a lot. I, I, I really don't yeah. know. <laughs> I really don't know how it came up. But... He like Tottenham Hotspurs. Like there's a cut there's yeah. a theme here. You know, yeah, like, yeah, there might be a connection there. There might be a connection. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm I'm interested to see what you, I'm interested to see what you think about Gareth Bale. Do you, do you like oh, Gareth Bale? For me, he's the greatest ever British player in the history of the game. For me. Greatest ever British player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so him, it goes him and Rooney, and them to are like they're kinda close. Because of what really achieved. Do you, do you mean by like greatest British player at like in the league, like for like no, their respective like clubs, no, no. or for like country no, no, and everything too? Oh, everything. I, I'm from everything. So that's, not a, that's not a bad. That's not a bad too. That's not a bad too. But, um, but isn't he considered? But he's from Wales. Uh, I mean, obviously, I know that's part of. I see. Oh, it's like. But how did, how does that work? Him. Hey, like, you just start a political me. army. Hey, you gonna have to oh, down that. Oh no, <laughs> you don't have that. I'll sit over here. You have fun with that, are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm not familiar with how that works. It's like God is watching this, this show right now because it's like I I was literally after I was gonna say what I said. I was literally gonna bring up the comments of that tweet and what you said and what someone else has, has said before. He's not British. He is, and there's a there's a there's a distinct different because um great britain is all the countries together when, whereas and when you're british it includes all four countries so england scotland wales Northern ireland it includes all of them but people what they do is no one really reps great britain they rep their own country so england so the english the scottish the welsh the northern irish yeah. you know so yeah when the so when i saw and i'm gonna put up the extension of that tweet right now for you guys to see and some guy called Andreas said he's not British with a sad face. So if that's one of your friends, you hear me? But like right now, we had this conversation. Um, I had this conversation with one of my boys uh, not too long ago. And I remember we were talking about British players. And I said for me, Bale was up there. He's my number one. And I was getting slaughtered. I promise you, I was getting hounded that year. And then the biggest reason was he's not British. He's not He's Welsh, not British. I just looked at him and said, really? Like, you live here. Like, you, I could expect a foreigner to not know this knowledge and information. But you live in here. Come on, dog. Like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> going to you. But nah, he, he's that. British and he's Welsh together. He's, they're, 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 they're together. They're the same. 
Okay, well, I'm glad you cleared that up because I, I honestly was not familiar with, uh, the, I guess, the terminology. Uh, so yeah, him being yeah, British, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like someone saying they're American but they're also uh, Texan. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, like, gotcha. You have, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can rep your state and you can rep your country, whereas in the and UK, your country too. Yeah, yeah, but in the UK, you don't rep the country as a whole. You rep the individual countries within the Great Britain. You know what that I noticed? You, this you're the, like one of the perfect people to like answer this question for me. Like, how is it like repping where you're from, like in England? Because in the United States, like everybody's like haters for where they're from. Like, if you're from like Texas, everybody in Texas is like, oh my god, I can't stand Texas. Like, da, 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 da. Um, they're always complaining about it, and then like they're always fans of other places. Like, it's weird, especially with like sports teams. Like, like uh, here the big sports team is the Cowboys. Like, there's no question. But like. Like uh, like weirdos and freaks like Gage, they don't they don't rep their hometown team. They gotta go somewhere far. They gotta rep like Green Bay or or New York or something like that. And I can't stand that. It's like, come on, you know what I mean? I didn't know if that was the same over there as it is here. Nah, I think a lot of it. It depends how you enter. So there's sports and then there's culturally. I think culturally, a lot of the ethnic minority groups they don't rep the country because of like political reasons and. Their, like their view on society. So, for example, a lot of ethnic minorities in the United Kingdom, they're, they're not appreciated by the system. So, as life is tough, they, they feel like the system's against them. Obviously, the police is against them, stuff like that. A lot of political things. So, they don't tend to have that same affection as a quote unquote without being disrespectful a white British person, you know? However, when it comes to like sports teams and like football teams, a lot of it is like your local team, like majority. However, like, there's this funny joke, um, I don't know if you guys know, about Man United fans. How majority of Man United fans are based in London and not Manchester. You get it? Because yeah. when we were growing up, Manchester United was the most successful team. A lot of kids in London didn't like the London team. And thought, you know what, I'm going to rep Manchester United. Which is the same as Gage, like he said. Like, he's not repping his local team, but he's repping the other team that's a bit further out. You get it? But there's like this big, there's like this big debacle. Like at the end of the day, like football and sports is evolved. You can you can have like this. Is what I do, I love. I like I support my local team and Man United. So I support my local team, uh, Feyenoord, which is in the Netherlands, because that's my hometown. I rep them hard. Like I'm a big Feyenoord fan. I watch all their games, even though it's not shown in the UK. I have to go some illegal app and watch it. But I rep them hard. I go to games whenever I'm in the Netherlands. But when I'm in the UK, I'm uh, talking like English Premier League, I'm a United fan. Because why? I used to live in Manny, Manchester, and then I moved to London. So then I kind of got attached with the London lot because of my accent, where I live, stuff like that. But I think nowadays in sports, because of there's so many entry points in, in sports, in particular football, you can like it through the games, you can like it on like the comps. You see TikTok, how many rules there? How many like TikToks there are of like player highlights? You can watch a football game. You can watch I don't know like different other things in it that make you into football now because of social media stuff. People then chooses to support like like teams that aren't local rather than like for example you guys. I think even if you're a City fan, aren't you? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. City yeah. Fan, yeah. So like yeah, it's like that. Like literally, you're not from Manchester. You're not from the blue side of Manchester. You're from America, but you like. Man City because of the way they play, how successful they are, and stuff like that. So it's the same kind of thing here in England as well. I get that. So Monty, can I ask you something, man? Go ahead. So I really don't have an English Premier League team. I know you from Manchester United, Ethan's Manchester City. Who should I really be rooting for? Come like, on. realistically, it's an easy question. Come on. Like, no, uh, I mean, hey, take hey, all hey. bias, take all bias out of this. I know Ethan, Ethan is oh. always going to give me a biased answer. He's always going to tell me Manchester City, but well, for you, realistically, for someone who's getting into the English Premier League for the first time, like myself, who would you like recommend for them to start with? I think start it watching, depends I guess. on it depends on what you like football, like why you like football. If it's results, like Chelsea are the most successful results team, one of the most successful in England, because they won the Champions League literally last season. They're, they're, they love winning cups. They won the odd Premier League here and there. Like, they're very good at like results side. They have Man City who play attractive football and get results. 
but more of the attractive football side of things. You have Liverpool with their heavy metal. You like it depends what makes you like football. If that makes sense. So like, okay, yeah, you, you can have like um, I don't know, like Man United Arsenal. It's Man United Arsenal Liverpool. Historically, they're the three biggest teams in England. Man, it goes Man United Liverpool and then Arsenal. So obviously, as a United fan, I was, when I got into football, United was successful. They were my local team at the time, quote unquote. And like I loved them, like, I loved everything about them. I loved, like they were my, they had my favorite color, red. Like there's there's small nuances that you pick up on, you get it. And I think it's the same for you. Like it, it's like we can troll you on your decision. You can say I'm gonna be a proud Everton fan. They're struggling in relegation right now, but you just like I don't know. You don't like what if what if I go with Tottenham? No, no, no. We can't do that. We can't do that. Yeah, we can't. If you want to, if you want to see a team win trophies, <laughs> um, <laughs> he's a Green Bay fan. They'll never go see one, bro. What Sorry. do you mean? We won one more recent than your <laughs> team, but that's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. All I know as an outsider, the foreigner, that the Cowboys are the biggest. They're the, tro- they're the trolls. Like we can troll. They're them. the worst. Like, they're the- yeah, the worst. You can you can shit house them. Yeah, <laughs> they're the worst. Hey, are y'all done? First, first remedy to this the last episode we had, and now Monty's doing. All right, I see how y'all um, be doing. No, I promise you, in the UK, Cowboy fans they're seen as like Tottenham fans, even though you guys are the biggest. Like I don't know, like uh, how many Super Bowls you man have won. I don't know the logistics, but for the size of your club, the the, the fact that you're just trash. Even the player fans can acknowledge that, yeah, they're not here. That yeah. kind of hurt. Okay, so see, that's the thing. It is The crazy thing is I've seen a lot of people compare the Dallas Cowboys to Manchester United. That's the, re- that's the real comp. It's, that's, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that is a very true comparison. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Especially because, like, uh, I know this is your episode. We, we're not trying to take it too much away from you. No, 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 no. But it's like the way I see it more so is that, like, it's the same. Like, the Cowboys and United, we was both good, like, great. In like the similar eras, you know what I mean. We was good in like the '90s. Y'all was good '90s. Had the brief like early 2000s, not so much, but then the late 2000s, y'all got really, really good. And then now, like the past 10 years, it's kind of been like like every you'll have the uh, odd so year where you're like, oh, I'm really good this year, but then the year the next year like this. That's how kind of the Cowboys are. Like That's one year you're like last year we had like the the only team ever to have a team that got a 5,000 yard passer, a thousand yard rusher, 10 exactly. touchdowns, 10 interceptions, exactly. all that. And we lost in the yeah. first round, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly like United last season. Like we we had to, we were unbeaten away from home, like away games. We, we never lost. We were second in the Premier League, and we were top at one point. But then we kind of faltered from February March. Um, like the Champions League, we we did really well in the beginning. Then we dropped like two out of the last three games. We had to go into the Europa League. Then we lost the Europa League final. The Villarreal. Then everyone was like, in the start of the season, everyone was trolling us. Then they raided us. Then they're trolling us. That's just a mad cycle lately, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like United are in the absolute stuff. Like I listen, I can put my hands up and admit we are a lot the rest right now. But I, I don't know about you, Ethan. Yet, but for me, the one thing that always fills me with confidence is we're too big not to win soon. If that makes sense. Like the size of the club. Like for example, the Lakers. How long have they gone without winning uh, the ring? Yeah, that's it. And then, obviously, LeBron's first season, they was meant to win the chip. Uh, everyone's like, oh, LeBron's in town. Oh, we got, you give me, Lakers are back. Yeah. Then they didn't win until the bubble season. Yeah, hey, hey, relax. The, the bubble ring is still a ring, as far as I'm concerned. I'm a Lakers fan. <laughs> the bubble ring is still a ring, all right? <laughs> hey, we talk about Mickey Mouse rings. <laughs> not, not LeBron's. That's, not LeBron's. That's what we say about Liverpool. Liverpool won the league in the COVID season. No one gives a toss about them because <laughs> you couldn't parade your trophy. That's big culture here in England. If you can't parade your trophy, you never won it. Like, no one cares about it. <laughs> Imagine you win it and you can't show your fans that you won it. You, that's, you can only see it through social media. That is horrible. horrible that is fair. Man. But, but I mean... I think to justify the COVID championships is that everyone had to play through the same conditions. And like, yeah, obviously the Lakers got an advantage because they got to sit and rest up for a little while, but everyone did. Everyone got two months off. Listen, so Ethan, you didn't win the chip with fans in the ground. 
I, hey, I was the fan of the crowd. I was one of those guys on the little Zoom thing <laughs> on other yeah, stadium. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. yeah, I was watching my TV. What the hell? Hey, you should have seen us when we went to Chip, bro. My friends, I, I couldn't find none of them for a week. I was looking for them. Nobody was to be found. I was sending videos in the group chat of me smoking a cigar. I don't know how to smoke a cigar. I was dying in my room. I was dying, coughing everywhere. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah, we want to chip. I didn't know how to do it, but I was having the time of my life. Can't, can't lie. You didn't see live of your team winning. So it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. If you win, if you, oh, but wait. You're in Cancun now. All your best days in Cancun now. You're chill, in- chill. We're, we're, we're relaxing. We're on vacation. My Dallas Mavericks, though, we won last week, so it's all good with me. Hey, you know, you notice how he switched up, right? But, <laughs> but, hey, uh, but I, I think we're having a good time. But Monty, I'm interested to see what uh, what other tweets you've got. Oh. Listen, I, I need to yeah, no, 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 you, you don't gotta look at my tweets. Don't, don't okay. stop. Okay. I, I mean, no, you can keep looking for me. I, I want to, I want to keep seeing what I'm seeing because I'm out of position on the screen, but Ethan's there and Gage is. Yeah, there. same thing. Oh, okay, cool. Calm, 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 calm. Because I don't want to put it that way and it's like And it's gay. <laughs> well, see, I'm this way on your screen, but it, 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 or on my screen, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, Ethan was attacking my beloved team. And I have yeah. To oh. bring it up on it. Yeah. And I I'm ready. I'm ready. Think, Put me in the fire. I'm ready. Uh, you said on the first month of the new year, 2022, you said United really forget Ronaldo back is gonna get them the chip. My friend ain't winning United. <laughs> Did I lie? Did I lie? Listen. 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 <sighs> I got no revolve. I got no revolve. I, I can't lie. I was one of those stuff. You know, you know what sold it for me? Honestly speaking, yeah. Like, I get crucified every time I, I say this, yeah. I swear to God, if it wasn't for me being in the stadium that first game, Ronaldo came back, <laughs> I, I would never have said, oh, like the things that I said. I was so reckless. I knew within my heart. I even did a prediction. I did a, me and my boys did a prediction where we do the table from 1 to 20 exactly how it is, yeah. And then we come back to it, mate, see where we got for each P minute. So I didn't even get United winning the league. I said Chelsea would win the league. That was our prediction. They're not even going to win the league this year. It's not the City and Liverpool. But I was like, I didn't even put United top. I did it. But I came out the stadium live out in front of my camera. I said, 21 is coming. We are winning in the league. What everything. I was even reckless. Oh, my God. Bro, it was like, sh- oh. I feel the same way. Like, in the NFL season, like, the Patriots for the past like twenty years, they've been making me sick. They're like Chelsea, you know what I mean? Like the recency they like if you want like success, the last twenty years, that's them, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I like, grew up on New England doing them. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, as a yeah. Cowboys fan, it hurts my soul that they were good. It really does. It really does. <laughs> so when we finally beat them, especially the game it is, because Cowboy Cowboys games, we always lose like games we sh- a games we should win and be like whenever we gotta play somebody good they'll play their worst day but uh, guess what we're gonna play our worst game too the same day <laughs> and so when that happened against new england and we finally won against new england on like a last second touchdown ask gauge the stuff i was saying in that group chat i, I was going crazy oh my god i was screaming oh number six oh god god has shined his light upon us we we, we are america's team da, 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 da. we're gonna win it oh but i was talking reckless bro bro i'm with you i'm with you because i was saying i remember like i i was right in front of the in the second half so you, you know i have this famous side every state of normally has that famous side where it's the go-to side so liverpool's the car um, Arsenal's the North Bank, United's the strip, but then so I was sitting in that go-to area where it's active, or at, atmosphere's electric. When I promise you, when Ronaldo scored that first goal, yeah, all I wanted, I went into that game thinking, I just pray to God, United get a win, and Ronaldo scores, so that goal that he scores isn't in vain. You know, like it means something, it contributes to the win. When he scored the opening goal, I found an unbelievable, I found a few words, especially. Where's gonna come? Up? See, I was gas, bro. I was doing a Is that and your favorite scored. game you've ever been to? Because I'm not gonna lie, like that must have been unreal. Like Ronaldo's uh, first came back in ten years. Did he score? A, he scored a hat trick, right? He scored a brace. Yeah, yeah. 
the floor was shaking. It was unbelievable. I said, I like I've gone to Old Trafford like quite a bit, and like this game that I'm at is like it, it's up there with one of the best games I've gone to. Honestly, like the mood, it was the hottest ticket in town. Like I bought the I bought the little Newcastle ticket before he signed because I wanted to go to the first game of the season. I couldn't. I lost out um, with the queue and stuff. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to sell for the second game of the season. Oh, this one's going to be some worthless game. I was, I was fuming. And then one day, Fabrizio Romano confirms United signed Ronaldo. Oh, my God. I got the ticket. God was really on my side. Like, hey. <laughs> hey, that's, hey, that, bro. That must have been insane. Yeah, I wanted to, like... I, I, swear, I swear to God. For real? There was five grand that they were selling it for. Honestly. It was a madness. It was a madness. Hey, to be Wait. fair, that's how random, random cowboy games go for now. Like, I don't even got to... <laughs> You paid five grand for that ticket? No, no, no. That's oh, what they oh, went oh, for. Like he oh, got them. Like, they went for it. Ronaldo how much did you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how much did like, you pay for it? Forty pound. Like, like, like it me like fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I feel that I went and saw oh, Tyler the Creator in concert. Like I don't know if you do you know who Tyler the Creator is? Like oh. yeah, like I saw him in concert in Houston like a month ago, and we got me and my buddies. We got pre-sale tickets. They were like ninety bucks, and we're like in the pit though. Like we're like I kid you not like. 30 feet away from me. He's dry. He has a big boat. He's going through the crowd, everything. And I'm t- this guy behind me was like, man, this concert's amazing. Like, it's so worth the ticket. I was like, bad, how much you pay? He was like, oh, yeah, 900 bucks. I was like, I- he's like, how much you pay? I was like, I just paid 90 bucks. Like, I, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, why would you pay 900? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. What the hell? But, nah, like, I was, I, I was touched, man. Like, my friend is shit. My comedy is trash. Mc- thank you. Hey, hey, I want you to say it because I'm gonna have my bunch Manchester United buddy. He's a McTominay like stand. He's like, nah, 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 nah. Like he blames McGuire. When we get on our episode, I'm gonna spread my agenda about United. I'm gonna get my stuff up. You know what I mean? Someone actually likes McTominay. He loves. Madness. He's like McTominay's not the issue. It's he blames Harry Maguire for everything. He's like the reason why the guy, the the seventh guy on the bench is because of Harry Maguire's on the team. He can't. Like I, I be trying to explain to him. I said, bro, like. You just don't know ball. Like, he, like, I hate, like, Maguire's poo poo stinky caca mirada. Like, he is not it. He is, he is not it. But he's not everybody's fault. Like, he can't, no, no, he no, can't no, play no. all the positions. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Look, did you not see the Chelsea game? Okay, so guys, day of recording is the 29th of April. The Chelsea game was last night for me. Uh, for us lot. He only completed two passes in the last, like, 20 minutes of the game. Oh, this guy, you know, he does cardio, I'm convinced. You know he just guy? runs around using his stamina bar. Cardio, cardio, that's it. His heat map, you think he's everywhere. You think he's had the most amazing game. And then you see how many pass uh, passes he's completed. Two. Bro, I was disgusted. I felt sick, bro. What is this? Matic can play a much better game. Like, Fred, we, like, I used to hate Fred. I felt like I used to be on him. But then Ragnik has, like, he's approved him. And I was like, wow, well, like, Fred Zamola. Like, I like this. He's finally Brazilian. Before he was Congolese. Now he's going to the Brazilian passport. It's funny that's not Brazilian. I think they, I think they scored two passports, I swear. Because it's crazy. But McTominay, that's an outrageous one. Whoa. No, no, that's, that, yeah, that's, oh that's a cold one, yeah. Yeah, he, he was he's putting uh, up the equivalent of Tony Snell numbers. Is yeah, just, bad. Like, oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like just zero, 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 zero. zero, zero. zero. I don't know who that guy is. Zero, zero, zero. Hey, really hey, in 40 minutes. <laughs> like I said, like I want to get into depth because I want to get all my soccer agenda because finally I have more people. Bro, I'm so glad like I'm beating yeah. you and Remedy. Like, now I got guys to talk yeah. soccer with because these guys, like Gage oh, knows a little whoa. bit. Mm-hmm. Back oh, my fault. Tech. Uh, that's your yeah. that's your first tech, yeah. Or, uh, yellow, yellow card. Football. Football. Yellow I finally card. got somebody to football card. with. You get a yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, another tweet, yeah. Another tweet that I'm gonna bring up, yeah. Uh, let me, let me see. I'm sweating, yeah. dog. He was like, you know what? Yeah, I feel like Gage. Yeah, he's more on the motivational. He's that guy that's really down to earth. You know, <laughs> he, he, he has he likes his motivational speeches. He likes to get oh, himself boy. going in, in the morning. So. Obviously, local time for me, it was um, 10.52 in the morning. But I'm thinking to myself, surely in America, that's 5.52 in the morning. So what are you doing <laughs> up at? Like, he tweeted this at 5 in the morning. That is very Oh, brother. What did I tweet? So he said, 
2018, uh, 17th of uh, October, sometimes you just have to say, fuck it and move on. And he said that at 5 a.m. local time. Oh, I said that? Uh, I no, no, yeah, no, no. no. Gage said it? I said it? Gage said it. Gage said it. Oh. I was thinking about me. I was like, bro, I probably was no, down wait. horrendous at 5 a.m. I mean, it good. It's okay, okay, all right, man. She's she, she not here no more. The boogeyman ain't here no more. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> hey, you guys want me to keep it a buck, man? Um, that that was at, right after me and my girlfriend had broken up, and I was in my fields, and I was like, I'm going to go to Twitter. And I'm sure, like, you missed a bunch of other tweets. I was up all night tweeting. <laughs> oh, all night. I swear to God, bro. I was up. I swear to God, bro. I was up all night tweeting just stupid shit. And my friend, my friends had to intervene, and they're like, "Bro, you're going too far. Like, like delete all of that. Like, just stop posting." And I was like, "You're right." And then and you know, since then, one yeah, I guess I, I did forget to delete that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, since then, man, I'm just like. You know, I really don't need to take my emotions to Twitter, especially over a girl. Right, that, hey, that's what the group chat is for. <laughs> hey, that is what the group hey, chat hey, is for. Hey, I got a funny story. What was it called? Uh, like, I'm not going to say when, just in case the associate is listening right now. But I'll just say sometime in the past. Uh, I mean, a chick got in my feels. Like, it happens to all of us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it's always that one that ruffles your feathers. Yeah. I had one, bro. What? She was... A bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> But she had me in my feels, and bro, when I tell you, I was in the group chat, like it was just a random like Thursday night. I was in there just spitting, like man, I'm tired of this. Da 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 da. I can't stand this. Da 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 da. And my friends are like, bro, Ethan, it's Thursday at 1 a.m. Like, what, <laughs> what is happening? Like, what, what happened? And I'm just sending videos of me like hopping in, hopping in my car, listening to Drake and all this stuff. And they're clowning me. They're like, bro, if you don't get your ass back inside, dog, <laughs> you ain't finna go over to their house to do nothing, bro. <laughs> get back in the house, dog. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bro, I can't lie, like, so, uh, back in the day, it used to be like my diary, you know, like, everyone's diary, whatever we're feeling, we go on Twitter, back then, when Twitter wasn't really, like, no one cared what you said in it, like, you, you yeah. had the one on banger, but no one cared, but now, you have to really look at your tweets, you know, you have to like, let me read, let me read, let me read, read it, let me make sure, yeah, I'm saying that I'm wild, yeah, really, times have changed, hey, Hey, can I can I also give you uh, some props for doing this? I mean, the fact that you went back four years bad, into my bro. Twitter to find tweets. Hey, hey, bro! Shout great, out, a, shout a, out, Monty, great, man. Bro. Facts, man. Like, <laughs> hey, you're doing your damn <laughs> job. He had to go through so many likes and retweets of porn stars Facts. for me, man. He had to go through the <laughs> trenches for me. <laughs> <laughs> I do this every first time guest, and I swear to God, you're like. Whenever I message people to say, like, like I always do my research on this. I never just bring on anyone. Like, I always point out, like, okay, this week, this is happening in the world. Let me bring that type of individual in. That's how I normally go about thinking he's going to be my guest. So, like, for example, uh, next week, um, obviously, the Premier League season is coming to a close. It's time for he and I the top four, the Arsenal, Tottenham, and then the Towers, obviously. So, I thought, let me bring on a guy that low-key... I like to say he runs the account, but I know he doesn't. He does content create for them, but he's always on their page. Uh, he's always on Bleach Report, which is my guy, um, uh, Lee's in it. So, Lee is. So, he's going to be coming on, hopefully, uh, next week. But, for the most part, like, whenever I look at a guest, I think to myself, okay, I'm going to bring a guest for this time. What's happening around the world? If things suddenly change, I'll just, like, move them, like, another week. So, for example, to, you know, um, uh, in January, we had AFCON. So we had African Cup of Nations in January. So, like, the whole month, I had guests lined up. But I thought, you know what? Because of AFCON and how, like, I enjoyed AFCON. I watched every game and I was like, yeah, you know what? Like, for my peoples, my African people, I need to do something that is around them. So, like, one day the culture day. So I told my guests, make sure you wear your cultural dress uh, code and whatnot. Like, I make sure, like, I, I saw I saw those pictures on the Instagram, bro. Like, I like that type of thinking, dog. Like, I, I like that. Hundred percent, bro. Like, like the one thing with me is like people say it's a, like, oh, Monty, you're doing a podcast. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing a podcast. I'm doing a talk show. And the reason why that's different is because podcasts focus on the audio element, whereas the show focuses on the visuals. And I want to make sure everything looks crisp. Hence why 
Yeah, that's yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah. a reason why certain things are the way they are. Like, I remember even me, like, I promise you, in the beginning, like, I had an identity crisis. Like, people are telling me, congrats on the pod. So I'm thinking, do I correct them? Do I just appreciate the compliment? I didn't know how to go by it. But now, I'm, like, people have recognized and said, you know what? You're doing a talk show. I props to you. Da, 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 da. And I think gradually that will change over time because obviously, you see so many podcasts in London, like London, for example, like they, they just go and say podcasts rather than a talk show because no, no one's got the time and energy to set the visuals up, make sure everything looks good. You get it? Yeah, and that that's interesting too because I mean you think about the branding of like our products. I mean us as content creators, we want to consider it a talk show. You know, I think because I mean for me and Ethan too, we do our our recording podcasts, but I mean we do focus on the visual element of it too. So yeah, I mean, is it better to mean, brand it as a talk show? That's I guess that's we part have of the question. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> but because I get that like. <laughs> Like I get that, bro. Like that's you're right. Like it's no, no, bro. Like we, it's a talk show. We kicking it. Like it's not just like, it's not just the audio and the mic. Like of course that's like a, an important element that we should not ignore, and we should really like put your your effort in. But like the visual imp- element too. Like adding overlays to video, like like stuff like that. Considering the set, the lighting. Like I know we're kind of like geeking out a little bit. All three of us are like, and the audience is probably don't care about us geeking about stuff like this. But like, no, no, no you, bro. Honestly, you say that yeah, but you be surprised like. The amount of people that speak about, oh, they want to start a show more than a podcast, like, it touches me because, like, everyone wants to do a podcast because it's easy to do. You just go to a studio, you get a mic and talk. And that's, mm-hmm. that's the podcast. And podcast back in the day was just audio, like Spotify, um, like even Apple SoundCloud. Podcast. Like, that, bro, SoundCloud. I remember back in the day, things used to be on SoundCloud speaking on the mic saying, oh, yeah, yeah welcome to my podcast. And then now you have this whole visual element because you can put it on YouTube. Spotify have the visual side, like you see the Joe Rogan thing. Like there's you can put clips on TikTok, things. Instagram, exactly, like all that exactly, stuff. Exactly, exactly. And for me, it's like because of the way things have changed, I want to stay in my lane and call it what it is. And then when it does do well eventually, like fingers crossed, I look back and be like, you know what? I stuck to my morals and I stuck to what I wanted to do, rather than. It caught me calling it a podcast and then people recognizing I'm a podcaster. Like, I'm not a podcast, I'm a host. Like, get, get yeah. the two right. You know what I mean? Hey. Monty, let me tell you first off, bro. Again, I appreciate you having us on the show, and I, I got to give wow. my flowers to you, bro. You said I hope I make it. You are gonna make it. The way you're, it's not a ho- it's when, right it's now, when it's gonna when happen. It's not a matter it. of will, dog. It's it's a win. That's it's, it's when a mindset, dog. And I, I me and Gage can both assess, bro. Like, this is bro. You 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 know what you're doing, dog. Like. When you hop on our podcast, like, after this, dog, you're welcome anytime, dog. Anytime you wanted to come call me out of my city agenda, bro. Anytime, dog. Like, and and let's let's also put this, like, you know, a, a plan in motion of when you do come back to the States, let us know. Maybe we could do, like, a soccer – or soccer. I was about to get another strike. That's, that's just uh, – Yeah, I know. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. We, we we could do a football video where we go out and like record doing one on ones like maybe yeah, one of us is playing bro, goalkeeper. 100%, bro. 100%, bro. We'll, we'll hey, do something hey. fun, bro. They don't believe me, bro. I wouldn't. I would. I would have been the first black Argentinian player. They don't believe me. I've <laughs> <laughs> been, been the first one, man. I'd have been sitting there in the stands with everybody in, in, in La Bombonera, like. <sighs> I would have been. <laughs> no, you got the class. You got the class. But now I think. There was, there was a couple more tweets I saw, but then I thought, like, let me... Like, there was Gage getting so hyped about Messi that I saw. Like, you know what? Funny enough, yeah, I actually did... Um, when I was going through the tweets, I searched your app, and I put sock as the keyword. Both of you, I'm, I'm kind of proud. I'm kind of... I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Like, when I put sock, there's only, like, one or two things. And there wasn't, like, a whole list of things saying sock, sock, sock. Like, or is it just, like, you know, tweet about... Football, if that makes sense. Like, I think what you guys do is you tweet about the individual players rather than the sport. And that's why I kind of cleared up for it. Maybe I figured out one. But... No, nah, like, for me, it's like, me and you are in the same, like, SDS, like, community and everything like that. So I kind of yeah. I kind of keep my tweets in there, like, because you know what I mean? Like, man, like, there, that's what is, you know what I mean? We talking, we talking ball in there. So I, 
I, of course, I'm, I might tweet on my main stuff, like, if I really got to get some shit off my chest. But, like, usually I keep the SES streets, like, I keep it like that. And then my main tweets, I'll talk about, like, how, how bad these women be treating me these days. Or I'll talk about <laughs> music or something like that, dog. But, yeah, I think I think you might be onto something. Because, I, I, bro, I be just trying to live peaceful. I, I don't be trying to start no arguments, dog. Like, it... Hey, at the end of the day, you don't want your comments going crazy. Someone bro, I, in bro, I gotta, I gotta go work the next day. I'm not trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I mean for myself, like, like I said, I'm still trying. Like, like I said, I, I took a break from soccer for a while. Um, or so, God, I keep doing it, man. I, I am just, <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeless, man. See, I, I'm trying to get back <laughs> into it. So, and uh, so for me, like it was just kind of. You know certain players and again i was really into the barcelona real madrid and the world cup and you know just the very basic kind of uh you know like surface, surface level. level stuff yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, now yeah, talking yeah. to you and remedy it's really wanting me to like i really want to get more into football and into the english premier league and really do my due diligence and get into it so i'm glad i'm i, I got to meet y'all and i'm glad i'm on your show man i appreciate uh, of it course, man. of course of course i think I think you've actually entered like football at a decent time because now you have so many avenues to get into it. Like you can watch highlights, extended highlights, you can watch a full game, you can go to a stadium, yeah. you can play FIFA for example, stuff like that. Like there's many different ways to get into it. And I feel like obviously like I'm gonna actually touch on you know what, we're gonna we're gonna start on this. Supporting so club culture, yeah, I think it's one of the hottest like thing right now because everyone feels like they've got a rightful stake for supporting this certain club. So like what we said earlier, um, like the locals was like there's some people that are locals that support their local team. Which is fair enough. Like go ahead, I support my local team. That's 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 a that's a good thing because at the end of the day, you're showing love to what's in your area. Like you know, you're not like um, I don't know. Um, my American knowledge is a bit very is vague. You know the NFL, yeah? That's your main number one league in American yeah. football. What's the second division of American football? We don't have one. We don't have one. So there's no second division? No, not like... Like college... I it's guess co college college would be our, like... College football is like... Yeah, that would, that would be like our, our amateur, like... Uh, like me and Gage, okay. we go to Texas State University, so we kind of rep uh. Texas State, even though they're kind of... <laughs> They're kind of a two pack. Team is terrible, bro. They have not been good for like thirty years. And it's not like they were like great. Like they were like thirty years ago. They were they were solid. Like <laughs> they're just really bad now. You know what I mean? It's but so I I guess that would be the equivalent is like college football or like with okay, the NBA. Wait. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because that brings me on to my point where I was like, like fans, like I don't like it when fans look at other fans and say, "Oh, why you want this team?" Because like you don't know how they got into that team. You know, exactly. I think football, football is very like tribal. Like everyone, whoever, whatever team you support, oh, I'm a diehard Arsenal fan. I'm a diehard United fan. I'm a diehard whatever fan. And it's like, like the foreign fans always get dismissed because it's like they're not in the country. So like, uh, like you have Australian fans that stay up till four in the morning to watch a United game, and then you have the boys in the states that will wake up in the morning or maybe lunchtime and you'll see the game on the TV, like an afternoon game. And it's yep. like, those sets of fans were the ones that go to the stadium. All three fans, they're entitled to support United. Like, there's no cat, there's no... Um, uh, there's no gatekeeping. Uh, exactly, exactly. Gatekeeping, exactly. yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's proper crazy. And now, obviously, with Gay, just like, support the team, whatever. Cause obviously, Premier League is the big, biggest league in the world. So pick a team from the 20s. But it's like, whatever team you feel a certain attachment, it could be like the manager their fan base, um, their playing style, winning, performance, whatever the criteria is, pick on, on your own terms in it and then stick to that and then go ahead with it. You get me? Because a lot of, I'm like, one thing for you, before I get to Ethan, one thing with Gage, and like, I'm, I hear that when I'm in the States and I'm on campus, but obviously, like, for the American views that I don't know, I go to school in the US too. Like, I see what goes about on campus and actually <laughs> hey we gonna get to it we gonna get to it yeah 100 yeah, yeah, 100 so it was like okay cool like i'll see some guys when when the cafeteria the game will be like a like premier league game will be on tv for example and you'll see guys so cheering both fans like both sets of teams like if a team scores yay if a team scores yay i'm thinking pick your side brother like or you can be neutral where you're 
you're not involved in the game. So, like, fan culture in America, like, I start to see, like, it's very confusing. I feel like, like, you have extremes. You have, like, the American fans that are they're either yay or nay, and they're, like, kind of borderline. They're not really too serious with it. Or you have the European fans that are, like, die hard, oh, extreme, like, oh, it's my club or it's the, the higher. It's like, you know you can do a bit of both, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, and I mean, I think a big part of it, too, that a lot of people don't take into consideration is, like, family ties, too. I think, like, you can fall in love with a Shout club because, Kendrick. yeah, family ties. <laughs> 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 Jump in that. <laughs> Jump in that bitch. Yeah, uh, but, no, I mean, for real, like, I, I think, uh, I think like, have, like, your family could also really introduce you to a, a club that you really enjoy and love, and um, you can't really question somebody for that because that could be, like, that was my dad's favorite team. It was my grandpa's favorite team. And yeah. that, that's what I get a lot here, like, too. Like, when people ask me, like, what uh, what American football team I root for, it's the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, because you know, you're like, a traitor. Yeah. Why, why do you root for the Packers? You should be rooting for the Cowboys. You live in Texas. I hate the Cowboys. <laughs> I root for the Packers because my grandpa was from Wisconsin. My grandpa was from Wisconsin. We grew up watching Packers oh, dude, games. Dude, dude. That, so, hey, Gage, Gage, me and you relate in that fact. Like, I don't think I ever told you this. Like, the reason why I'm a Cowboys fan, yeah, because, like, I'm a homer in Dallas, everything. But, like, my grandfather, I grew up in a house full of, like, New York Giants fans. It's like, my pops is from New York. Like, my pops is Jamaican, for those who don't know. Like, like all my family is, they New York people. Big like, Mike. That's, that's, who they, that's who they, like, support, <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? And they came to De Texas during the 90s when the Cowboys were, like, the biggest team in the world. So the Cowboys, Cowboys, everything. So when I was younger, they were like, Ethan, you're not going to like the Cowboys. My grandfather was the only one. He was the odd way out. Like, he's the only one. Like, he took me under his wing. He's like, man, you're going to like the Cowboys. I'm going to get somebody on my side. So I, I can relate in the fact that you like the Packers. You know what I mean? Like, you're still yeah. a traitor, but it's okay. Like, I, I forgive okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> but for football, let's see, for football, it's like I don't have that family tie because, I mean, my mom doesn't watch the English Premier League, or at least um, – she liked Barcelona a lot and Messi, so that's kind of why I grew up. I had a bunch of Messi jerseys and um, Mexico, too, because my mom is from Mexico. So I had uh, Chicharito when he was playing. He was one of my favorite Mexican, <laughs> one of my Mexican players. Chicharito. <laughs> Don't guess it. Don't guess it. Javier. He's a baller. He played for United and Real Madrid. Nah, I'm not having hey, that. Man. I, 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 I'll never understand why. <laughs> I never understand why. Hey, he, he he was very overrated, I will say. <laughs> very no, overrated. No, no, the first goal, I will never forget this year. I remember when we signed uh, uh, Chicharito in the chance window. When I looked at them, like the ins coming into the club, I said, who the hell is Javi Hernandez? Brother, who is this guy? <laughs> I was, I was, yes, I was, I was, I don't know, how was I? I was in, like, elementary school type age like i was that kind of age in it so i was proper into football and i'm thinking the track what's ferguson doing who's javier hernandez? hernandez yeah from the mexican league who is this bomb i was hit i thought ah oh, there we go we've lost the league to chelsea city um done <laughs> first goal he took uh when he scored his first goal i was like nah i love this guy i love this guy so like, i think i take back everything i said i think back i think about he the cross that... came in the cross came in he went to volley it, yeah? He went to volley it. It hit his foot, bounced off his head, and then rolled in. I said, yeah. nah. <laughs> I said, nah, this guy's cold. This guy's cold. This guy's cold. Bro, I feel like that, like, last year, like, my brother, like, me and my brothers, like, we big city guys, like, because of, like, Aguero, uh... Dimicelli's all these guys like that's is that what that like Argentines that's why my brother hated Ruben Diaz. Ooh, I was so right. Ooh, I was so right about Ruben. He's cold, dog. He he's cold. He's like, bro, why do we get Jiggy's piece of shit? I want I want because he, he wanted Koulibaly. Like he wanted him so bad. I'm like, bro, like just trust, dog. Like, like just trust, bro. It took him into the Champions League semifinal when it, when uh, him and Stones was blocking all them shots from PSG. He's like, nah, bro. He, he nice. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He nice. 